Hi everyone, my name's Anne Marie. Welcome to our next step in our Texture Paste Special Week. Now in this video we're going to use a stencil. We're going to use the same stencil that we used yesterday. So you could use any that you have at home. And we're also going to use multiple colours of texture paste. So I'm going to do the same process that I did yesterday. And I'm going to have a piece of scrap paper that I'm going to stick down on my protective mat and then I'm going to stick down a piece of card let's get the card this could be any card um, so we'll just take a piece and I'm going to stick it down in the corners as we did yesterday there we go this is craft masking tape again if you've watched yesterday's or um, our introduction video that might help now I'm looking as though I'm not straight but I'm straight in front of myself so I'll just tilt that a little bit to make it a bit straighter I can't zoom in anymore because you won't see the whole process so but don't panic as they say so I'm just taking a bit more masking tape and this is my stencil that we used yesterday and I'm placing it on top of my cardstock and I'm going to mask it and attach it in the opposite corners like so and just to hold it in place while we use our paste. Now yesterday's video we used just one colour for our um, stencil today I think it will be fun to use three so what we're going to need is a trusty baby wipe our spatula and kitchen roll now we're probably going to need even more kitchen roll for when I peel my um, stencil away. So I'll just get myself prepared. There we go. Now the three colours that I think we're going to use are um, brown. Um, tell you what, we'll use the new um, bamboo. It's a new pot. I've not opened it so you can see exactly what it's like when I open it so I think we'll go with bamboo oh, don't you just want to dip your fingers in there we'll go with bamboo first and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spatula I'm just going to dip into the bamboo and I'm going to scrape just a little bit down one side like so just making sure that I've filled those holes and I think we'll do it in lines nearly so that's the bamboo and if I'm just bring that over a little bit so that it touches some of the other ones we won't do it in a line and then I think if we just mush it on technical term there in different areas like so and then we can then scrape the excess back into the pot, put our lid back on and then we can go for our next colour. But before we do that we need to just clean our spatula because we don't want to contaminate the next pot that we use. So I've cleaned it with the baby wipe and I'm just going to dry it with the kitchen roll. Simple as that. See there's none on my hands. I'm quite clean 
and I think the next colour we're going to use is the geranium or the cerise and pick up a bit of the paste and then just start adding it in different areas now the one thing I will say before you go back into the pot now you need to just wipe your spatula because you've probably contaminated your spatula by touching the green and you don't want to contaminate the pot so back into the pot pick up a little bit more of the cerise dab it where you want it and press it down a little bit like we would before if we're just spreading it on and bring that up a little bit there and now we can clean our spatula again and pick another colour so it's just the case of remembering to clean your spatula every time because you don't want to mix your colours in your pots and I think the next colour we'll go with is we'll go with um, actually we'll go with the citronella this is a new pot as well so you can tell it's all on the hoof this one because um, normally I'm all prepared but again it's nice for you to sort of see how to open a pot even because um, sometimes you get something and you think how do I open that so let's just snip that and we've got a new pot oh look at that look at that for a new pot nice so I'm going to go straight in with my clean spatula pick up some of the paste like that and then pop it in all the areas I haven't added any paste to and now it's kind of marbling a little bit so I'm just going to get some more of the citronella paste and add it and spread those areas now I'm quite happy for everything to marble because it turns it in nicely and I think it'll finish off our background really nicely and don't do as I've just done force of habit straight in there with my spatula luckily there was nothing contaminated on it but this time I am going to wipe it and just on the kitchen roll back in to get a little bit more and we can finish this side like that and scrape the other way there we go and I'm just going to make sure everything is nicely scraped off kitchen roll now I can't put this back in the pot because of obviously it's got the colour mix so don't worry about that you're not losing a lot but to get the effect I think it's worth it so that's my spatula clean just give it a little wipe oh caught that there we go and then I can put the lid back on my pot like that and now we can do the peel off um, show and this is the bit I like so we can peel off our tape again just like yesterday if your tape has got texture paste on I probably wouldn't reuse it so that's got a little bit of paste on it and so has that so I'm going to throw those two sections away and now I'm going to get myself sorted out for peeling the stencil off because 
I'm not going to rush to clean it at the moment so I need to cover it with two baby wipes just to keep it moist um, while I finish chatting to you so now I'm going to peel it off from the corner like so nice and carefully and there we go oh nice now again I'll show you what I'm going to do so you know it's all in real time I've got a piece of kitchen roll and I'm just going to pop a baby wipe on it like so and then I'm just going to place my stencil on there and I'm going to put another baby wipe on the top okay just for one moment while we finish chatting so I'm going to peel off my tape from the corners like that and I can reuse this tape because the craft masking tape you can use a fair few times before you have to throw it away and that is our background and that oh that looks awesome so that's using our different colours just remember as you add in your different colours to keep wiping your spatula or your knife so you don't contaminate your pots wow that looks like fireworks like that that's going to look so good as a background well they all do let's face it and adding texture looks brilliant so now we can place that to dry and I would I always leave mine overnight to dry so I would say a good couple of hours till it dries it's got a nice sheen on the texture paste and that is just brilliant for our texture paste using a more than one colour project today tomorrow we're going to use the same stencil and we're going to use texture paste with glitter something a little bit different and this is where we start getting just a tiny bit messy so but don't panic it's all in good fun and I'm sure that you'll like it so I think it's um, a great idea for backgrounds okay so I really hope you've enjoyed this and I hope it's given you a little bit of inspiration now to maybe move on from using just your texture paste with a stencil maybe using a different colour later in the week we're going to I'm going to show you how to get different colours with the texture paste so if you're thinking well I've only got a white one on Marie that's fine we're going to do something a little bit different so thank you so much for watching and I shall see you next time